hey guys welcome back so guys this is the continuation of the previous video where we are going to delete the data using resource controller with the help of eloquent model okay so main thing is that we will use resource controller and eloquent model for deleting the data okay so this is the last part of it so guys um, before I will show you that how the output is okay so inside resource we have created this form add and uh, edit data and the student form how it is so i will show you the output of it so guys this is the output of it where we are in adding the data okay adding the data and editing the data okay so after editing it will go to the main page now we are going to delete the data okay um actually let me refresh it. yeah so edit the data so like edit wise we will create one delete button okay and delete the data so guys yeah let's get started so in this this is the form where i am going to show that a student form okay so this is the student form where we are retrieving the data by for each loop using the controller okay resource controller so now we have to create one button for the delete thing okay so for that we will use form okay that will be post action you have to um, you have to use this action okay inside action so i'll just copy this um, yep so paste it now um, yeah um let me close this okay yeah it is more clear and better so guys now we are going to student controller at destroy okay so there is already one function called destroy okay inside resource controller when you create you will get it and we'll use the post method to delete it okay so now we'll start the coding for it so as you know if you are using form you have to give one security token okay so that is csrf underscore method underscore um field f e i l d field function okay so and we will create one button okay and one for uh, input type okay so input type i'm going to give this as hidden where name is equal to we'll give a method okay method and a value that is is equal to delete okay so this uh, this is for the laravel thing okay this input type and now we are going to create our button okay so that is button uh, not disabled okay button type is equal to submit cbmit submit name also will give as submit and uh, it, the better name that is delete will give a bootstrap class as called as um, button button minus danger hyphen danger okay so now when we click on this delete button okay it will go to student controller at destroy with its id so let's go to the student controller inside app inside app http controller student controller at destroy okay so mm, where is destroy this is update yeah so here is a destroy so now let's code at this okay so we have to create one variable called students where i'm using the model that is student model where i'm going to find by its id dollar id okay and then we will use the variable this to call students to delete function okay as simple and redirect to the thing okay so we'll copy the previous thing so let's paste that so i'm going to return after deleting return and redirect to the main page that is called student web route okay with the message that is data 
deleted okay so as simple and uh, i will tell you where is this redirecting okay so inside route web.php here is your resource folder resource controller for your redirecting okay so let's go back where is that actually mm. oops we were in controller right yeah so we are done with this now let's go back reload the page and let's delete some data it has been take occupying more space why go back to the form and mm, something is missing so i have arranged this mm. so the form is that we will close this th okay so i'll just copy this control c and close with this okay and start again and end it here okay so this is this this closed let's go back reload so yeah so we have got it so guys now let's delete this third item so let's delete and uh, yeah boom data got deleted okay so the data is deleted let's reload and check whether the data is coming no okay so you can add the data so like i'm going to insert some more details like something and some no for numbers add with prakash so faith prakash is added and if you want to edit this with prakash as om prakash so let's edit this aim will be a scroll as what has happening om prakash and let's save so after saving data got updated that is om prakash which you have updated it and let's delete om prakash boom okay so guys you have learned about all the crud of using eloquent model using resource controller okay so guys thank you for watching this video and uh, please subscribe like and share the channel thank you once again